What's going on you two? Kurt S7 here for the Arsenal Manchester United review. Arsenal humiliating Manchester United 3-0 at the Emirates. The game was won and lost in the first 20 minutes. Now, for me, the game was won and lost in the first five minutes of this game. Arsenal came out the blocks and they basically pulled down Manchester United pants and everyone was just pointing and laughing at them. It was that freaking bad. Oh, that was the, this is one of the worst defeats um, as a Manchester United fan since that 6-1 humiliation from City a few seasons back when, when Fergie was in charge. Not even under Moyes we were getting spanked like this. This was just that bad. You've seen the first few minutes Arsenal came out and they wanted they game more. They were just up for it. We were half asleep. You know, I don't want to talk too much about the game plan and stuff like that, but we were asleep, you know. Louis Van Gaal, he was just tactically, he was just naive. He just didn't want to change anything. You can see Arsenal, what they were doing. They were playing like they were the away team. They were the ones who were counter-attacking against us and leaving us exposed at the back. Ashley Young, not a left back, you know. Damian, got his, he just got ripped by Sanchez. And Sanchez is a world class player. There's not many world class players in the Premier League in my opinion. Alexis Sanchez is world class. Daily Blind is not a centre half and boy oh boy oh boy was he exposed today against the counter attacking Arsenal. Ozil to Sanchez to Walcott. Our defence was just abysmal. It was embarrassing. It was just oh my god and even when we were you know 2-0 down you know, in the first 15 minutes. You didn't see Louis Van Gaal making changes up on the touchline, you know, just showing authority. He just sat in his chair and, you know, pinning his mouth and, you know, just, just, you know, ah, oh, mate, just, I've never seen him change a game, Louis Van Gaal. I've never seen him get up on the touchline, point fingers and, you know, put a bit of pressure on these players. Memphis, where were you, son? You, were, you, were you even at the game? Did you play yesterday? You know, I wish you'd spend more time on the training pitch and, and working harder than taking freaking selfies. Rooney, abysmal, but you know, I, I don't want to bag Wayne Rooney too much because the whole side was abysmal. The only player, single-handedly, that was half-decent for me was Martial. Worked hard, it was the only shining outlet of a chance, of, of a glimmer of hope of a goal. And he almost scored, but Petr Cech, what? A save. He was unreal. Before the game, all the talk was about Koscielny's injured and how's Arsenal going to replace him. Well, for me, this talks volumes of the squad depth between, you know, Arsene Wenger's Arsenal and Louis Van Gaal's Man United. Yes, Van Gaal's done a rebuilding job at Manchester United, but boy, oh boy, it showed today that the squad depth at United is appalling. Koscielny injured, alright, Arsenal's by far best defender, out injured and they're replacing with another centre half in Gabriel, okay, Gabriel, you know, is a bit up and down but still a centre half, Manchester United, Luke Shaw goes down, who we got coming out left back, absolutely no one because our backup left back is playing centre half, Daily Blin. so we bring, you know, a right winger, you know, or a left winger in Ashley Young playing in a left back, how abysmal is this? Ashley Young, not a defender. Daily Blind, not a defender. And boy, was that exposed today in the squad depth. Louis Van Gaal had all this summer, all last summer. We have spent over 200 million pounds, and yet we haven't got a backup left back, and we haven't got backup centre halves. So you got Phil Jones on the bench. Yes, he's not 100% fit, but boy, when you see what Theo Walcott is doing to Daily Blind. Louis Van Gaal, make the chance. Bring on Phil Jones. You just seen how slow Daily Blind was, and it killed us. Just it killed us. They kept hitting us on the break in the middle of the park. Boy, did we lack pace. Did we lack any spark? Schneiderlin. He was the man to stop Ozil. He was the man to stop Schneiderlin. You know, giving Damian help. But no, he was on the bench. And a Herrera spark in the midfield going forward. Where was Ander Herrera? Tactically, you got done Louis Van Gaal today, big time. Arsene Wenger gave it to you hardcore and just showed how bad Manchester United's squad depth is at the minute. Oh, it's embarrassing. Positives to take from the game today? Um, 
Anthony Martial, uh, that, a little bit of uh, a little bit of glimmer of hope from him. But seriously, he's just come into the squad. What's his sixth or seventh game? A 19-year-old, our best player. You know, if it wasn't for Smalling, it would have been you know six or seven nil. So I guess Chris Smalling had a half decent game today. But other than that, we were abysmal. Now I just want to touch on Arsenal for a second because Arsenal. They deserve some credit. Alexis Sanchez, I just said before, world class. Ozil played one of his best games ever in an Arsenal shirt today. Santi Cazola in the middle of the park. Him and Coquelin were fantastic. Now, even Theo Walcott didn't do that much, but him leading the line, getting in behind Daly Blin and Smalling, it, it made the space for uh, Ozil and uh, Alexis Sanchez to do what they do best. So, played a, a team role. And at the back, lads, Murda Saka and uh, Gabriel did their job. And you have to say, Petr Cech, what a champion of a bloke. What a save against Martial there. And uh, Arsenal, I just don't know about Arsenal, though. Don't hate me for it. I'm, I'm just being real, though, all right? Seriously, today, Arsenal fans, you should have won, what, six 5, 6, 7, or even 8 nil. You should have smashed us out the park today. But you didn't. You only won 3 nil. You know, 3 three nil wins are very common. Yes, the performance is a lot stronger than 3 nil, but you can only score 3 goals against us. You know, when you look at the big clubs, especially, you know, title contenders, you look at City in the past, us in the past, you know. City, you know, they smashed Newcastle on the weekend. And even us, United, when we smashed Arsenal 8-1. This was Arsenal's chance today to say, hey, we are actually, in fact, title contenders this season. Let's put five or six past United and show City that we're going to challenge. But they only won 3 0. Yes, they should have won five or six 0, but they didn't. I'm going to have to say, Arsenal, can they title? Uh, can they challenge for the title this season? I'm going to be real and say that. Nah. They, they, they're just too up and down. You've seen today, Arsenal, uh, 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 today, the way they played, they were the highest of. Just world class today. But next week, they will go right to the bottom. And they'll probably lose whoever they're playing next week. They're just, they're too inconsistent, Arsenal. They'll make top four. and But in my opinion, they just will never make a title challenge until Arsene Wenger is gone, in my opinion. <sighs> and then when you think things couldn't get from bad to worse... Even though the game had ended, ladies and gentlemen, today, you would think, how worse can today get? Oh, God. It happened. Liverpool went and sacked Brendan Rodgers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, today went from bad to worse. What a bad day for United. What? Oh, just a terrible day for a Man United fan. Ah, oh, Brendan Rodgers, the Premier League will miss you. You are a special character. <laughs> and anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 That is the review from United getting embarrassed from Arsenal. Lads, I don't want to talk about this game any longer. Like the video, share it, subscribe if you're new. But till next time, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 Take care and peace.